It's Madden NFL 22, and the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Giants and the 49ers, and it's coming up next. We're about 40 miles south of Candlestick Point as we welcome you inside Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. The scene a short time ago, this crowd, they love their 49ers, and they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room. And we're ready for football as the 49ers get set to do battle with the New York Giants. Brandon Gordon here with Charles Davis. And, C.D., you look at our two quarterbacks in this one, each of them in his own way with something to prove, you'd think, for 2021. Daniel Jones of the Giants... Jimmy Garoppolo of the 49ers. And Brandon, I'll tell you, the word fear comes to mind because we know that fear is a great motivator in this league. Fear of losing your job, fear that you don't have it anymore, fear that your backup is really playing well and coming for your job, your current situation may not work out. That often inspires guys to better play. Let's see if we get that in this one. Here's the Australian-born punter, Mitch Wisnowski, to get things going. And we are underway from Santa Clara. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. The Giants ready to go to work on offense and leading him out, their third-year quarterback from Duke, Daniel Jones. I still remember when he was drafted, there was a little bit of controversy about how high he was selected by the New York Giants but his talents were revealed. He can make every throw in the book. Surprisingly good athlete. As long as he takes care of the football, doesn't turn it over, he can really make plays. They run on first down as they get about three. Second and seven, forthcoming. Coming up on second and seven. Throwing Jones. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. So first and 10 now from the 30. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. He takes this from the 30 to the 34. Six yards left on second down. A give to Barkley out of the gun. Runs over him. And yeah, this will be a Giants first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. Oh, 
So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. Now Jones. And this one caught along the sideline, but they say already out of bounds. Now the throw didn't give him a chance to turn it up field, and that brings up second down. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw again, Jones. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. They were trying to get it there to Sterling Shepard, but now it'll be third down. By the way, I got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over in your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual I know. for you. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. First down, Giants on a pickup of 14. Third and long as a defender, all you want to do is guard the first down line. Make sure that everything stays in front and run up there and make the tackle. They did everything exactly right, except making the tackle the running back. And he ends up finding a way to pick up a first down. Brandon, that play just should not happen. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 41. A handoff to Barkley. They'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. Defensive, well, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Here's a give to Barkley. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. Two yards on the first down carry, and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. To throw on third down, Jones. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. A first down carry for Barkley. And not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. A gain of three, second down. Back to throw, Jones. And this is incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. They head to the line facing a 37 following the incompletion on second down. Looking to throw. Jones. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. It'll be a gain of six, and that's going to make it fourth down. Well, it wasn't a big strike, but that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here. You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. And Gano's kick is right through. 
And the Giants are off now to a 3-0 lead. Able to move the ball on that drive. Yes, just three points, but four first downs were in there. Yeah, and you can look at it and feel pretty good about the whole thing and think, okay, this should continue throughout this ball game. On the flip side, if you're a defender, it's almost like whew, we only gave up three. They moved the ball on us pretty well. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The 49er offense coming out here for the first time, led by their quarterback, Jimmy Garoppolo. Garoppolo, fifth season with the 49ers, eighth overall in the National Football League. Athletic, accurate, strong arm. Knows how to make something out of nothing and is also an excellent leader. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. They'll run for the first time with Raheem Mostert. And he's taken down. It's a gain of three from the 17 to the 20. run got three now here's second and seven Garoppolo now and his throw here's incomplete he was looking for Mohamed Sanu there and now it's third down that was well defended they clamped down on every available receiver just got to give the win to the defense on that snap They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Here's Garoppolo to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. Jabril Peppers is deep for the Giants. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And it'll be Giant football first and 10. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Kenny Galladay, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one. Force the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. On second and ten. Jones. Finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Back to throw. Jones. And Ingram hauls it in. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. First down, Giants. Jones to Ingram. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be. But in this case, 
there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv and you run into a tough crowd. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. He was waving his arms, won the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of a story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass that you blew coverage on, what'd you say to him? Yeah, it's really not right since I blew coverage, but <laughs> since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time he'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He wasn't real, th he wasn't real thrilled with that. It's <laughs> Here's Jones on third down. Throw him deep for Galladay. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. So many times we see teams go on the road and want to lean on their running game, but this crew just announced they're going to try and air it out and make hay downfield. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. Nothing after one on EA Sports. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense. Get a couple of first downs and hopefully flip the field. Well, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. The 49ers traded up to snag Brandon Ayuk at pick 25 in the 2020 draft out of Arizona State. He was in and out of the lineup a little bit in his rookie year. Only played in 12 games, but was awfully productive when he was out there with 60 catches. And there's another one, this time for a first down. Sermon now on first and 10. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into giant territory. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid-type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. To throw is Garoppolo. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. I think the training and practice broke down on that play because he simply didn't run the route deep enough to get to the first down marker, despite what was a really nice catch and toe tap on the sideline. Yeah, that's third down 101. You got to go to the marker, know where it is. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge Here says. We go. Here we go. He says out at the eight-yard line. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis, or do you prefer ping pong, you know, back and forth like that? But it definitely was excellent, wasn't it? Jones now on first and ten. And he's going to go down. He backed up into the end zone, and this is going to wind up a safety. And you know, the man who sat in my chair the last few years, he has a theory. These plays, these safeties, they're so rare. Maybe they should be worth more than two, maybe four points. I think he's got a great point. I really do, Brandon. But I would go ahead and up it to six. I'm a former defender. Ooh. To me, that's like scoring a touchdown. Easy now. I'll go four. I don't know about six. Come on, come on. Come up to six. <laughs> a lot of points.
So a free kick situation forthcoming from the 20 as they'll punt this one away. up here first and 10 right at the 50 yard line from midfield here's Garoppolo and his throw is going to be incomplete he was looking for Raheem Mostert there and that'll bring up second down well that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result they took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion so now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down Garoppolo going to give to Mostert. Room here to run. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 18 yards, first down, Niners. The CD a lot of times like to separate speed and quickness, and they've got a back that's both. We know that he's fast in the open field. But, man, his first step is so quick, too. It is something, isn't it? Because you think of that type of speed getting to the perimeter and turning up field. But also, when you run those inside runs... He can get into the secondary so fast, the linebackers don't have a chance to react. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. This is Mostert. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Sermon, and not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Boy, that's a five-yard loss. Fourth down now. But they're certainly not neglecting their run duties as well as they ate up the blockers in front and allowed the secondary to get home. The kick by Gold is good. And with that, they'll take a two-point lead here in quarter number two. So a good snap, good hold, and right down the middle. Never in doubt. Just the way you used to hit them, partner. You mean like uh, kicking the ball? Exactly. Well, that was in high school. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't care what level. You hit them, they go through. The 49ers ready to kick it away, and here we go. Returning it, John Ross. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one, and that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Barkley on first down, going to work his way forward only for about a couple there. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. 
Jones fakes the give to Barkley. Looking for Shepard deep. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jason Barrett. And the return stops just a few yards shy of midfield. They'll spot the ball at the 47-yard line. And, Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively, getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out, okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. Raheem Mostert and the Niner offense getting the football back. It's the second quarter. His team has the lead, but I think he's hoping for a little bit more production out of himself. And we often talk about preaching patience to a runner when things are a little bumpy in the early going. But we have to do the same thing with the offensive line. They can't wait to halftime and make the adjustments. They have to do it from series to series. So those surface tablets come into play. Check out what the defense is doing and see if they can find a better way to run it. So they search for that patience here now. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. They go back to the ground, this time Mostert. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, that was a unit that understood exactly where the first down marker was, handed it to their guy who could run it, created some space, and he got there. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Moster. He's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. What a dimension this man brings to this defense. He had his mind set there that he was going to get in and make that tackle. He really flew to the football. And sometimes all of your best laid plans of play design, your X's and O's, they can't always account for individual effort defensively. And this was one of those times. Just a terrific play to hustle over there and get the running back to the ground. And according to Next Gen Stats, his top speed on that one, better than 20 miles an hour. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now they'll throw with Garoppolo. He'll swing this out to Mostert. It's a gain of five. And that'll make it third and one. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of a play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held it to an okay game. Open man is how you complete. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. It'll be a gain of six that time as it moves the chains as well. Did you see that route the way that I did? I yep. thought he was trying to get deep. Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not to, he came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Garoppolo now, first down throw. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Brandon Ayuk, the one he was looking for. But it'll be second down. Garoppolo again. And this one brought in by Sanu. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. A play fake from Mostert. Now Garoppolo. 
to the goal line, but it's incomplete. Credit the Giants' defense that time in pass coverage. Fourth down. How about this defense? They came up with a couple of big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Kyle Shanahan's made the decision. They're going on fourth down. They'll try it now with Mostert. And across the track, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. Raheem Mostert, a 15-yard touchdown run. And the 49ers add on to their lead. So a big decision there to go on fourth down. Gets him not only the first, but gets him the touchdown as well. And Brandon, you and I know that all these coaches tell us if every play is executed the way it's designed, it goes for a touchdown. But let's be honest. They were shooting for the first down on that one, and boy, were they fortunate to take it all the way in. Gold with the extra point, and that makes this a nine-point game. That time, a nine-play drive, and it was capped off by a touchdown run from Raheem Moster. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. And now here's Ross. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Kenny Galladay making his way back onto the field with the rest of this offense. Looking down at the stats here, realizing he has no catches. They targeted him twice, but no catches. So how do they get him more involved, Charles? You make sure he touches it on routes that he likes to run. Maybe even run a reverse or some type of a jet sweep so he gets his hands on the ball and get him active and involved in the game. You just try and find ways to get him going. And it doesn't have to be something that's big downfield. Maybe kind of like in basketball, just a shooter seeing the ball go through you, get him a rep, get him more comfortable. I agree with that totally. Maybe set that solid screen and give him an easy look. Well, to this point, no catches. That was awfully nice. Hit him in stride, and off he went. It was almost like the ball hitting him was like him receiving a baton, and he was running the anchor leg in a relay race. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Looking to throw. Jones. Open target here, Darius Slayton. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. From the gun, Jones. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. From the 16, Jones, he targets Ingram for another grab. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And Ingram's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Evan Ingram in the final seconds of the first half. And the Giants are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. 
Until that late score here in the second quarter, they'd only had the field goal. So that's just big to see that football get into the end zone. Yeah, and when you look at the scoreboard now, nothing seems out of reach. They've been outplayed in the first half. But when the clock hits zeros as they head into the half, you know what I do as a head coach? What? I tell my team to sprint to the locker room to show that we've got the momentum and show that we're right back in this game. Extra point try, good by Godot. And the lead is down to two. So that drive spanned five plays. And it was polished off by a Giants touchdown. So not much time to work with here. Nine seconds remain in the half as this one is away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. So time perhaps for one final kneel down before they take this lead to the locker room. And with time running down, they go down to a knee. So we've hit halftime here in Santa Clara with the 49ers out in front as we send you cross country to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports halftime report. First though, time for a check of the next gen stats from that first half for the Giants. And they weren't able to get a whole lot done throwing the football. That'll likely be a big key if they want to turn things around in the second half. But meanwhile, for the Niners, we check out their numbers on the ground as they'll try to keep the momentum going into the second half. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. And the 49er offense set to go to begin quarter number three. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. To throw, it's Garoppolo. That's going to be caught by Samuel. This will be a gain of about 8 to the 27-yard line. On second down, Mostert, and he'll be brought down right at the three here. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. On first down, they go with Mostert again. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling them in the huddle right now. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. From the gun, a run with Mostert. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half, to about the 39. 
Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. On third down, here comes Mostert. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. Brandon, they still have the lead, but momentum's certainly been going the opposite direction. So to me, that's a really important pickup there on third down. Try and regain some confidence. And you're right, they need to stem the tide a little bit. That certainly helped. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. They hand it off to Mostert. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. That's over the middle and caught by Ayuk. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. This is Moster trying to run inside, but nothing there. The big nose tackle, Danny Shelton there to swallow him up. And when you're running the football, one thing you don't want to see is a big boy coming up there to swallow you whole in those D tackles and nose tackles. No, you're actually counting on your big boys to protect you from them. But on that play, the defensive tackle had the leverage, and he won the battle. No gain, correct? No gain. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. Here's Sanu on the catch. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Here's the Giants offense now getting set to start the third quarter. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Well, they certainly got dented with that first down run. So now they've got to be back on their heels a little bit as a defense. From just shy of midfield, Jones. That is incomplete. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that.
So after the second down and completion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Back to throw. Jones. Jones in trouble here, and down he goes. Javon Kinlaw drops him for a loss of 10, and it's going to be fourth and long. Well, here's where having mobility sometimes can work against you as a quarterback. He thinks he can retreat and outrun the pressure. But that time, they zeroed in on him and took him down for a big loss, partner. A really big loss. Here's Riley Dixon now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there. We've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them. Can they come back now, start over again? And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Leonard Williams, the former number six overall pick, got the sack that time. And Leonard Williams really lived up to his nickname, the Big Cat, in 2020 with a career-high 11 and a half sacks for the New York Giants. Remember, he spent his first four and a half seasons in the NFL with the crosstown New York Jets. Now he's getting it done, still in the Gotham City area. Second and 20. Another try after the first down sack. Garoppolo throwing middle, and it's complete. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. to throw getting this out to the flat Mostert and he'll go down and that will do it for the third quarter of action one quarter remains here on a Sunday night this is the National Football League on EA Sports back now here in Santa Clara it's been a good one so far just a two point game here as we get set for quarter number four Garoppolo on first down. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. And that's a sight the 49er fans like. George Kittle catching a pass for a first down. Remember, he only played in eight games in 2020, but he was a 1,000-yard receiver in 2018, 2019. They're hoping he can regain his all-pro form this season. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. Garoppolo looks to throw once more. Looking left sideline, incomplete. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, Make the right choice, get rid of it, live to fight another down. An incomplete pass on first down, that leads to a second and ten. Garoppolo now. Over the middle, complete to Samuel. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 39. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll and this drive continues to plunge forward. Debo Samuel was a revelation for the 49ers in their run to the NFC Championship in his rookie year of 2019. Injuries kept him to just seven games last year, but he brings a dimension of creativity when he's out on the field. He makes a nice catch there for a first down. 
On first and ten, it's Mostert. And he'll take this one down to the 36. Blake Martinez, the Giants' leading tackler last year, in to make the stop there. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. That's into the hands of Dwelly. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Well, they weren't able to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. And on third and five, this will be the eighth play of the drive. Throwing now is Garoppolo. The tight end Kittle has it on the left side. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. Garoppolo to his tight end Kittle for the Niner first down. Well, probably the only thing he did wrong there was go out of bounds, nursing this fourth quarter lead. You want to stay in, eat the clock. Yeah, you got to love the effort, the catch, the extra yardage, but you got to know the situation. Stay in bounds, young man. Back to the running game with Mostert. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they're able to just roam and hit. On second and nine, Garoppolo. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. In the red zone, precision is the watchword. If the throw's a little too early, too late, maybe off a little bit, going to be a good chance that any attempt is going to be a contested one, and that one falls incomplete. The Niners on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This is third and nine. Now Moster. They'll get six there on the run, but it brings up fourth down. So where'd all that running room that he had in the first half go? Because it looks like it's drying up a little bit here. Someone made some adjustments, it appears, at least on this drive. Gold is able to put it through, and that's going to up the lead to 15 to 10. So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, it's a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. On a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. The 49ers ready to kick it away, and here we go. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Back on offense, New York gets set to take over. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. 
That's to Galladay. What a catch. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 16 yards right off the bat in a first down. And the Giants needed and went out and got a bona fide number one receiver in Kenny Galladay from Detroit where he spent four seasons and twice went over 1,000 yards. He'll really help the young quarterback, Daniel Jones. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Throwing Jones. And he'll get this underneath, wrapping it off for Barkley. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 16 more on that one and another first down. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. And that one going to come up short, low throw. So he looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet, man, that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Now Jones. Going right side, he finds Slayton. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. They'll run with Barkley. And he is not going anywhere. They stop him for no gain. Saquon Barkley denied on fourth down. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. Raheem Mostert and the Niner offense getting the football back. And there are the numbers. Got off to that torrid hot start. We thought he was in for maybe a career day. Not the case. No doubt about it. It almost looks like a misprint after what we saw in the first half. But let's give a little bit of credit to the guys on our side of the ball. They went into halftime, made a few adjustments. And you know what else? They didn't lose their confidence in how their ability to play. Because a lot of times you get beat down in the first half. It gets ugly in the second half. They've come out with a new resolve and a renewed determination. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. 91 yards on the ground for him now as he's gotten going on. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's 49er football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. On the handoff, Sermon. And now right out of the two-minute break, We'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go.
So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Again, it's Sermon. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Scrimmage the 37 on first and 10. Mostert. And he'll be taken down at the 34. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Sermon. And he's able to get it down to the 25 yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork, and then a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Down to a knee for the 49ers. This one about to be on ice. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Down to a knee goes Garoppolo, and that ought to do it. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So the victory here for San Francisco, and it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second-half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out.